students welcome to yet another wonderful session so in today's session we will be talking about the visualization of algebraic identities so a lot many times you have seen algebraic identities in your books so we generally what we do we memorize them but today we are going to visualize it it's a better way to understand them so before we get started there is an important update regarding the byju's mini learning program which is free for now well it's a limited period offer so you have to use the code yt free to avail it now let me tell you what all benefits you are getting here so basically it's a two teacher advantage you are getting there one on one guidance from a personal mentor live interactive classes and after class assignments you are getting you are getting class assessments as well also the best thing is you are getting three sessions for free and these three sessions you can book for yourself at whatever time is convenient for you and whatever subject you want to take the class for but remember to use the code yt free so do check this out link is there in the description and i hope that everybody has joined the telegram channel if you haven't yet link is there in the description so many benefits you are getting here session updates yes of course revision questions homework questions interesting quizzes and some the session pdfs as well whatever sessions we are doing here you get the sessions pdf they are shared over the telegram that's interesting right all right so let's get started All right so as i said that we will be usual we will be visualizing the algebraic identities so the first identity that we are going to see here is x plus y whole square which is actually we know that x square plus 2xy plus y square but let's visualize it let's see how is it coming actually so let's suppose we we take a line of length x units right now let's take another line of length y units and let's add them up what do you get you get a side of length x plus y units so let's make x plus y whole square to make x plus y whole square we know that the area of square is nothing but that side square so if side is x plus y if i make a square over here the entire area is going to be x plus y whole square when i say entire area that means everything inside it right that's the entire area all right now i'm going to join these points over here like this right wherever the color is changing we have joined it in such a way now let's label all the sides over here so if i label them it would be this the red lines are y the blue ones are x over here now if i talk about this first this first square over here it is a square right because this is x this blue part and this is also x so the side is of x units each of these sides of x units so it's a square so area is going to be x times x that's going to be x square that's how we find out the area for a square now moving to this rectangle over here that you can see it is highlighted now so it's a rectangle since one side is x another one is y right so area for a rectangle is length times breadth that's going to be y times x so we get over here this area as xy so we are adding it up here x square we are adding up the areas this is x square this is xy we are adding up here and if you talk about this this is y this side is y so over here it's a square so area is going to be y times y that is y square so let's add that up as well plus y square similarly this is a rectangle whose sides whose dimensions are y and x so area is going to be y times x which is basically y x over here so we can add that up as well and we get x square plus 2 x y plus y square why because this was x square i'm just writing it for your convenience and this is y square and this is x y so x square plus x y plus x y that is 2 x y plus y square so that's how we get x plus y whole square is equal to x square plus 2 x y plus y square this is the area for the entire box entire square this is our first identity wasn't that interesting yes all right let's move ahead to the next identity this also we frequently use so x minus y whole square equal to x square minus 2 xy plus y square so we already know this now let's try to visualize it let's take a line of length x units right now let's take we need to we need x minus y this time right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to subtract line of length y units from x you can see this red part that is subtracted from it from that blue part all your blue part was from here till here now this is subtracted it has been reduced so the reduced length now it's going to be x minus y that's the reduced length so now we have a square with a side x minus y we need to find out its area so how can we do it let's make a square when we talk about the area for a square that's going to be side square right which is going to be x minus y whole square right okay so now 
what we can say here is that let's join them first and after joining them this is also going to be x minus y so over here if I try to find the area first if I try to find the area I'm going to say that the area for this much part of the square I mean the side is x minus y so the area for the square is going to be x minus y whole square now let's do one thing let's consider the entire length that was initially initially the entire length was x so in that case the bigger square with sides all the sides in blue the bigger square will have I'm sorry it looks like a rectangle that I was drawing the bigger square with side x its area is going to be x square this is something which I assumed initially the side length x right now the remaining region in red right remaining region in red over here so this is x square for the entire square I'm talking about now the remaining region in red over here what is that going to be so we know that this over here this over here this much part these side lengths are x and these are y these are the two rectangles so how do we find out the area of rectangle that's length times breadth that's going to be xy both are going to be xy in that case right so this rectangle this red part has to be subtracted from here that's going to be minus xy minus xy now this red part over here this is overlapping right that's going to be so one time it has to be added right it was overlapping it was subtracted twice so we have to add y square over here right that's going to be plus y square so this can be simplified as x square minus 2xy plus y square that's the final identity we have so that's it that's how we can visualize it so this is x minus y whole square this is our second identity so today we have actually visualized these identities how it is actually coming we generally just try to mug up these identities but that's not the right way so that's it from my hand but before I end let me just remind you do not forget to check this out link is there in the description and the code is YT free you have to use that code to avail the offer and I hope everybody would be has joined the telegram channel and the ones who haven't joined it link is there in the description and don't worry we have got you covered so many sessions we have lined up for you from every monday to friday to make you exam ready and if you're liking these sessions please hit the like button and share it with your classmates in your school groups with your friends if you feel that these sessions are actually helpful and do subscribe the channel so that you do not miss any new updates from us thank you bye bye